feeling the cart's gonna end up like this after we did get on our first drive. <laughs> In our last video, we got this mini XRX go-kart from Go Power Sports running and driving with a two-cylinder, two-stroke snowmobile engine, but unfortunately, we didn't get big wheelies like we had hoped for. So in this video, we're going to do some tuning and some modifications so we can get this front end off of the ground. We were taking this thing out and doing some testing and it randomly stopped running. We had no spark, so we checked through the entire ignition system and it turns out our CDI was bad. Now, this engine's pretty rare, so it cost us $170 to buy this new one, which is almost as much as we paid for the whole thing. But we got it in and this thing finally runs again. We have spark, so we're back in business. It's been like months, so I don't even remember how this thing runs. I know we need to like tune the carb or something. So yeah, let's just bring it outside and start it. <laughs> Dude, Dead. I forgot. I was about to like pick it up because I just been using the, uh, messing with the ATV. Dude, look at this. <laughs> like if this doesn't wheelie, I don't even know. No, no, It's like I, a wheelbarrow. No power switch flag. Yeah, brakes are a no-go. So this thing definitely has plenty of power. Um, definitely not enough grip up front, but the, it's just really sluggish on, like there's no real throttle response. Okay, so this thing is still running really rich, tons and tons of smoke. So we're gonna do another little jet change. And I think this is gonna be the one, or at least enough to wheelie it, you know? It might not be perfectly tuned for maximum power, but it was really close before, so. So, first of all, the fuel was off. So we were running on just one carb bowl, which did those pulls. And then Daniel had the brilliant observation that one of the spark plug wires isn't even on there. So I think, I don't know, it probably was intermittent. It was probably giving us problems. Like it was probably sitting on top, you know, bouncing around, maybe sparking a little bit. But yeah, like, hard to tune when you only have one cylinder. Yeah, so, I don't know. You wanna just try starting it again? Sure, yeah, let's do it. I don't. Do you think it's going to be a pulse plate? So now, this is our goal. 
we want about one inch from the ground on the carburetor. So we just got to make a really tiny wheelie bar back here. We got these skateboard wheels. I mean, I think this is a big enough wheelie for me. What do you think? I think that's pretty good. All right guys, so this is the first time we've used our CNC plasma cutting setup on a build. I've done a couple test cuts here and there, but this is our first result of real cutting of quarter inch steel. This is a Eastwood plasma cutting table. I made some modifications and put this wood at the bottom so that can hold the Arcdroid and the Hobart when we're not cutting. The plasma cutter we're using is the Hobart Air Force 40i. It's pretty sweet. Very small package, so it's really convenient, especially for our setup. And then we have the Arcdroid CNC plasma cutting robot. I then added this ducting down here, and we put a bathroom fan and a dryer vent on this side. So then we kind of use a shroud here, and all the air gets sucked out, and we blow it out the garage door, and it really doesn't get that smoky in here. We got our brackets fresh off the plasma cutter. We need to dial in the settings a little bit, but these things look great for our first try. And... The fit is spot on. Okay, let's see. Daily test. Boom. All right. We are well, touching. We're, well, we're touch we bring it up a tiny bit. We're touching the air filter, but I guess if we flip it around. Now go. You know? That's full wheelie bar. Let's see. It'll scrape a little bit of the filter. Yeah. But dude, I mean, we are getting the absolute maximum wheelie that's we can huge. possibly get. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's absolutely huge. Yeah, dude, that's sick. You good? Are you okay? Are you okay? You're filming. Are you oh, filming? I'm still filming. Yeah, that's the last <laughs> of our worries right bro, now. Bro. That's pretty ugly. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Are you sure you don't need help? She revived the she wheelie. Wheelie. She, she, <laughs> I, I think I'm confident in saying that it does wheelie. Walk it off. 100%. Yeah, you know, honestly, yeah, I had a... The main issue, besides obviously it flipping over, is that my knees are so far out that my knee hit. Mm. I, did t I did stupidly kind of put my hand out, but I didn't... I wasn't like dumb and tried to hold it. I kind of just, kind of just hit my... No, I didn't do that, but my knee, since I sit like... You know, since I sit like this while driving it, this is kind of an impact point. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little like... Knee pads? Well, just like a sidebar or something. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, a nice sidebar here. 
Dude, Ooh. that was you you what if I hit, dude, if I hit my truck, I would be crying right now. So at least I look, was I? Oh, dude, yeah. I'm excited to see this footage. I mean, uh, you know, don't do this at home, kids. But I mean, dude, I got also oh, the feeling of being that far back. I thought I, I thought I was flipping backwards first, and then and then it was up in the air. I was like, oh, we got it, and then it was just like. Boom. I'll admit it, a major oversight on our part. These wheels, we were kind of just excited to drive it. They're, they're not tightened at all. Like this nut is just hand loose. So that probably had something to play. Now we got to try and line these up. It seems a little bent. Okay, we're going to do a quick damage report. The carb fell off, not a big deal at all. Wheelie bar scraped, obviously. Um, and then our wheels gone. We do have a little scuff on the torque tube. But not problem. This goes in the, not even dented though. So this is actually pretty solid. And then we do have some stance. We got a little bit of stance on the front right there. Ooh, it's gonna steer even better. We just bent that on what the is pack. this? Oh, toggle switch broke. That was <laughs> no. probably. Yeah. Not the Dang, toggle, toggle switch. So we gotta buy a new toggle switch. Oh, your knee or something. Yeah, but my knee. Pants are fine, knees good. Yeah, what's the build report on the body? Yeah, body, <laughs> those noises I was making were genuine. I was very, I was like winded. I think I just, my side hit the f ground. It's not a very large, you know, area in here. So I think, dude, honestly, I do think if we're gonna be like, oh, yeah. that was a wild ride. It's cool too, to pull a wheelie like that on a cart with suspension. Yeah. Cause not all, you know what I mean? If this, was, a, if this was like a hard tail, it would be, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, you're loading up the suspension and then pulling it up. Mm -hmm. right? It's got plenty of power. No, pretty, pretty cool. We found our wheel. It was about 100 yards that way on my warm up lap. And here is the damage. You know, not too bad considering the impact. So, yeah, guys, we're going to end this video here. I was really debating whether we should try and fix it up and go out again and do more wheelies. But I'm pretty bruised. I'm kind of tired. I just want to go to bed and heal my knee. So, you'll have to wait for the next video for more wheelies, but we're going to be doing standing wheelies, really putting this thing to the test, seeing how big a wheelie can we do with this. So, stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. All the drivetrain parts and the go kart itself are from Go Power Sports, and we'll see you in the next video.